The clay I'm using in this video is uh, NSP Soft Sulfur Free Plastiline by Shavant. Anyway, I, I'm trying to do something to fill in these spaces here. And I thought, why not do the same thing that I did here? Over here, he's got a blanket on. And uh, so I'm going to see what I can do about that. He's got a blanket on. I'm just wondering. I try something here. I'm going to uh, try to place this as a buffalo robe. Over his shoulder here. Interesting proposition. I'm thinking about the idea of putting some figures in the middle. I think that is something I can do. Maybe not have arms flailing around in the air. Certainly something along the lines of uh, a figure or two in the clay. I've had my clay softening overnight. I've had, got the light so probably three inches maybe two inches above the clay and as you can see the clay is really soupy it's uh, gotten real soft which is what i wanted and uh now let's put it on the buffalo robe maybe too soupy <laughs> so i'll have to Possibly let this uh, sit for a while. And cool down. I certainly wouldn't want to uh, grab a hold of this. Okay, that's good. You can see that uh, it gives me a nice texture. The inside of the uh, skin. As you saw last night, I took the uh, feathers off his head just so they wouldn't interfere with what I was doing here.
I'm not overdoing the texturing because any real deep texturing is going to cost a lot of money to uh, reproduce in bronze. All right, I'm going to cut up some more clay, put it in my clay pot, and uh, hopefully it'll be soft in about an hour or so when I come back. I mean, it's amazing, even as cold as it is right now in this uh, living room, that uh, this clay is so easy to cut through. Pretty nice. I'm going to add a couple of figures to the uh, center of the group. We have five figures on there now. This will make seven. And seven's a rather holy number to Native Americans. And uh, I think it's worth a try. Gotta have an armature for the uh, body. I, I, I was looking at this uh, piece last night uh, I had just finished putting uh, the buff buffalo robe on the one gentleman, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to have a filler between the figures? And so, I had an idea to possibly make a couple of uh, figures to go back there. I figure the worst can happen, it doesn't work out. And the best that could happen is that it would. So that's what I'm going to do. Is uh, try it. Okay.
I think I'm gonna melt the clay on the bottom a little so that it'll actually stick in there. Oh, I think that looks good. I just need to fill in down here. do is stick that <clears throat> stick that one right there well that's going to be it for tonight I'm going to let that figure just sit there and I'll come back to it tomorrow but I'm liking what I see I really like uh, my new figure which I just put in this lady right here and uh, I think it's going to be okay Let's get these fingers adjusted here. Not much more to go. Uh, once I get this figure done, then I'll uh, come back and uh, finish up the base. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time.